John, we did a film in, uh, I think we shot it in 1982, it was. Is that correct? What film back? is this? It's a little film. I call it the F film. <laughs> mm, I don't know what you're referring to, Kevin. <laughs> it's a little film called Footloose. No, never heard of it. Mm. <laughs> and that was, I think, the first time that we met. Yeah. Um, Certainly, the, and the only time we worked together. The only time we worked together. Uh, I checked that. I had to check it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm happy to say I have only one degree of separation. <laughs> one degree on, of separation. On the basis of that there film. There you go. Um, it was a, I mean, what was the, what, what's your memory of that experience? Because, you know, it's, it was, I mean, it was kind of life changing for me in, yeah. in, a, in a lot yeah. of ways. Um, well, one of my sweetest memories is the, my first knowledge of you really, I'm not even sure we'd met yet. I think we'd met in passing, but there was a note for me. I don't know whether you even remember this, but in my box at that dismal little motel where we all lived, pretty bad, yeah. it was a note from you saying what an honor it was to work with me. Oh. It made me feel very old. Do you remember leaving me <laughs> that I, I don't, message? I don't actually oh, remember, but. I, I'm thrilled that you don't remember. Me. No, no, it was All such right. a, an incredible... Very well-behaved uh, young man you I was. You definitely used the word honor, oh, which I, was more than I deserved. Well, it was because true. I wasn't making it up. And, well, I, 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 I actually Googled this just to be sure. We are... There is a 12-year difference in our age, which hmm. is not that much now, but it was big back then. Sure. I and Diane Wiest, who were the, <laughs> the preacher and his wife... Right. We felt so old with all these youngsters, <laughs> and you were the oldest of among the youngsters. Yeah, I was in my twenties. Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker and Lori Singer, and they yeah. were babies. Babies, yeah. And uh, we felt like we were the the, the old fuddy duddies. They had given me sort of uh, a little an extra perk. I had two of these dismal motel rooms. Everybody else only had one with an adjoining door. Nice. Somehow or other, I think in compensation for the fact that we were the conservative older generation, Diane and I were wild. We had these parties. Do you remember the yeah, parties? Sure. Yeah. Where we would do Soul Train yeah. and, and dance. And yeah, it you was were wild. Nutball. I remember that. We even took off our clothes and swam in the swimming pool one night. Do you remember and that? This is in, yeah, and this is in Mormon country. In we, Provo, Utah. Yeah, yeah it was, there was a, in, this, a, in the 80s. It was very, very seriously conservative. Yeah. And there was a memo sent out to every member of the production the That's next right. morning from Dan Melnick said, Behave yourself. I forgot about and that. It was directed to Diane and me. <laughs> That's great. I do remember Lori Singer followed us into the pool. She did. Okay, she good. Was... <laughs> good. You know, uh, that motel. My one of my images of that motel was um, uh, Chris Penn, who was sadly no oh, longer God with us. Bless him. Was um, a I think a seventeen year old kid. And one of the things I loved about Chris is that he went out and somehow got a hibachi. <laughs> yes, I remember. He, had a, he would grill, which is just not, not something you expect from a 17-year-old. Yeah. And, and he would get charcoal and he would make, you know, steaks and hamburgers and stuff on his, on his yeah. hibachi in front of his room. There's smoke piling out of it. It was, it, was a, it was actually a wonderful experience. It was great. Mm -hmm.